This lab is going to take place over three days, so here's what you will do on the first day. First, you will label your 50 milliliter beaker, which is the smaller one. It says 50 ml right there. And you can just use a Sharpie to do that and just write your initials and whatever period you are. Next thing you'll do is measure out 40 milliliters of silver nitrate. Silver nitrate is not on your tray, okay? You're going to have to share this bottle because it needs to be kept in a light block bottle. So everyone is going to need to share that. So you can get your graduated cylinder out and measure 40 milliliters. It doesn't need to be exact, and I'll talk about what to do in a minute with that. Okay, so I this one is a little bit more than 40. I am going to say it is 41 to 3.2, 43.2. So on your paper, it says to write the exact volume here. Please write the exact volume. Make sure that you're estimating a digit. So here, I'm going to write 43.2 down on my paper. Then I'm going to take my copper wire and I'm going to mass it. So these are the balances we'll be using. You can just put it here. Make sure you tear it, meaning make sure it's at zero. Okay. So you're going to mass this. And this one says it's 0 0.82 grams. And you're also going to mass your 50 milliliter beaker. And this says 30.24 grams. So I would write both of those on my lab paper. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is coil the wire and you're going to coil it like so and put it in your 50 milliliter beaker and it doesn't need to be on the balance for this and then you're going to pour your 40 milliliters of silver nitrate right in there as much out as you can and that's going to be all we do for day one rinse out your graduated cylinder put it on a drying rack leave your little beaker on your tray and put the trays back where um, I tell you to do so all right so here we are day two you can see what our beaker looks like so now you are going to start separating these things, okay? So what you're going to do first is try to get the wire that's left in the bottom. And you can use whatever you need to use for that. I'm going to use this stirring rod and then my tongs. And you want to get all this gunk off as much as you can. And then for the little bits that you can see are not coming off, that is what the squirt bottle is for. So when you do the squirt bottle, make sure you're getting it in the beaker where you already have the crystals. So rinse off that wire. and get all the little bits into the beaker. Okay, now I just have the copper wire. Oh, a little bit here. So dip the leftover copper water in acetone to have, help it dry. So what I'm going to do is take another beaker, doesn't matter what size, and my acetone. 
I'm going to put a little bit, it doesn't matter how much, of the acetone in the beaker. And then leave the wire in there just for a couple of seconds. And then that dries it. You can see that. Well, I don't know if you can see, but you will, that it has nothing on it anymore. So after that, you're going to mass it. I didn't bring my balance over here, but you put that on the balance and you mass it. So that's it for the dried for the wire and then you can put that it says cart I don't know if we're gonna have a cart but we'll have a tray up in the front of the room so now we're going back to this solution here all right we're going to do something called decanting so decanting you're gonna look this up in part of your post lab so you'll get a more uh, formal definition but basically it's separating the water and the solid substance so you're going to take your glass stirring rod and put it like this on the lip of the beaker and hold it there. And that helps all the water travel into the bigger beaker. Well, it's not just water, it's water and some other stuff. But it helps the water travel and then it will stop as many of the particles as we can. Okay, that's what the glass stirring rod does. It helps us not get those particles in the solution. Okay, then we're going to wash the silver, the silver crystals. We're going to wash them several times with the squirt bottle and then decant. So we're going to do that. I mean, you can do it as many times as you think you need to. I'm just going to do it two. You probably want to do it at least three, but I don't think you need to watch me do this multiple times. Okay, so you're going to keep doing that until you see no blue. Then you're going to leave these to dry overnight. Okay? And, well, until the next class. And then dispose of everything. You can get rid of this. You can put it into the waste container up at the front of the room. And rinse it out and put it on a drying rack. Okay, we have those glassware drying racks. And you can rinse out the acetone and put that beaker on a drying rack as well. And then we will continue on the third class. So here I am, day three. And all we have to do on this day is take our balance. So you're going to turn the balance on, put it on the table, wait for it to read zero. If it doesn't read zero, hit the T button to tear it. And then we're going to take our 50 milliliter beaker with our dried crystals inside, put that right on the balance, and record what that is. At this point, you should already have your data table, so you can type it right in there. If not, um, you can also just write it on the handout. So once you have that information, we will get started on the analysis and calculations and everything together.